Hello and welcome back to Genshin Impact. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, sorry, I was just saying hello to the people watching the video. Okay, maybe we should just uh, go outside for a minute. I uh, don't want to annoy Wyatt there. <laughs> we'll speak to him in just a moment. Oh, welcome to Genshin Impact. I'm having such a good time with this game. And um, just a few little housekeeping. Uh, I, I record these videos several at a time. So um, the ones that I'm recording now are about sort of three or four episodes ahead of the ones you're watching currently on YouTube. Um, but, so, but recently I've had a few uh, sort of veterans of this game discover my videos and they've been leaving some really helpful tips. I really do appreciate the kind of advice that you've been leaving in the comments section. Um, that's really, really good. Uh, and, and so there's a few little things we just want to go through before we get started on the adventures in today. So what I've discovered is that I can actually ascend the Traveller from some of the things that I've picked up in the previous adventures. I haven't bought any of this stuff or anything, I've just acquired it. So it looks like I can ascend the Traveller. So I'm going to do that. So that's uh, improved all the stats here. They've gone up a reasonable amount there, looks pretty good. And now my level cap has gone up to now 40, so I can now start um, increasing uh, and then I can level her up. But I think I'll just do that organically. I believe I can also ascend Kaya as well. Um, which, I, sure, I guess I'll do that as well. So he's ascended. Hmm. Not bad. Yeah, not bad. I. <laughs> It's so good. Uh, what is this? Oh, no, hold on. Let's go back. Let's go back to here. What, 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 what is this here? Essential materials preview. Oh, okay, this is what I need to be able to ascend later on. So we need to make sure we look out for Windwheel Aster. Brown of the Statue of the Seven that Wind Rise. Oh, well, that's in the vicinity. So we can pick up these things. And then these ones, Adventure Rank Reward. Okay, so we need to level up our adventure rank. That's fine. Okay, so um, that's good. We can level her up. We don't want really to do that one. So the other thing I've also noticed is that I can enhance these weapons, or refine them rather, by using duplicates. Now I happen to have another Traveler's Handy Sword. I don't think I'm going to give this to anyone else. So I'm going to refine this weapon to rank 2. Uh, each elemental or particle collected restores 1.25 HP. Okay. Next rank just increases. So that's what that's what it does with that one. Uh, and we can enhance it by leveling it up. Uh, let's also add some one star materials. Do I want to do that? That's all of this stuff. I mean, sure, let's do it. So we're now at level 16. So there's a so that looks like it's going to be doing a lot more damage. So that's what we've done there. Also, what I can do, I'll, I can go through and do some of the same things to some of the other characters. But what I've done is I've set up a new party, a uh, party setup. So this is the party that I'm going with for this episode. Um, we have our traveler, we have Jingju and Noel, who are the characters I've been using a lot one. But also, I want to try and use Chi Chi, because I pulled Chi Chi a few episodes ago, and I wasn't sure. I was like, oh, is this a good character? I don't know. And I was looking at a few kind of guides, and all the guides seem to say that she is not very good, and she's like one of the lower tier things. But someone did mention in the comments of one of the videos, or the video where I pulled her, was that it was incredibly lucky that I got a five star this early in the game. And that even though she might not be the greatest five star, she's still a five star character, and is probably going to really help me in the early game. So I'm going to try her out and use her. I've, I've only really given her level 10 and just given her a few of the basic equipment I've done, but we'll, we'll give her a try. Why not? Let, let's try her out for, for the episode. So anyway, I've talked for like almost five minutes and I've not done anything. Uh, so if you're still watching, <laughs> thank you so much for sitting through that. Uh, let's go and talk to Wyatt because he's one of the daily commissions and let's get started. Hello, how may I help? Well, I believe I can help you, possibly. Uh, what is this place? The main hall of the Knights of Veronia's headquarters. Please keep a noise to a minimum. Please wipe your shoes before entering the library to avoid taking any dust or dirt inside. Okay. Well, hello. I want to speak to you about your... Oh, hold on. Goodbye. I'm sure he had, he had something to say. Hang on. Check the journal. Maybe it's because I haven't... It's this one here, right? Wyatt. Was that him? Or am I speaking to the wrong guy? Oh, that's Riot, not Wyatt. 
that's not the right guy. He's just there so to be quiet. Wow. Okay, so uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do the story quest instead. I'm going to do Little Chef on a Hunt. It's been there for a while. I want to do this quest. Um, I like story quests. I like progressing the story, learning about some of these characters here. Um, and hopefully we'll get some good rewards for it. Okay, so we're looking for someone over in this vicinity. Meet the girl in the forest. I'm not sure what girl it's referring to. But we are in the vicinity. Can we see a girl anywhere? Ah, here we are. of ingredients you can find in Mondstadt, and it looks like it's true! Are you a hunter? No, I'm a chef! A chef on a mission to find rare and exotic ingredients from all corners of the world! My name's Xiang Ling. I'm from Liyue Harbor. And you? I'm Greg. Hello, my name's Paimon! I know my name doesn't quite match my uh, appearance, but... Paimon! Why are you looking at me like that? Emergency food? What an exotic creature! Is it edible? <laughs> Dig in! <laughs> Dig in! <laughs> I'm not saying that. <sighs> what We're friends. a bummer. Can't eat it if it's your friend. Jeez. I like eating sentient creatures. That's going a little bit far, even for, 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 for a hunter. Uh, yeah. <laughs> A good friend too called Goba. <clears throat> okay, my, my friend talks more. Isn't that the name of a Liyue snack? <laughs> Both the snack and my friend have a special place in my heart. Anyway, can you do some hunting for me? There's lots of game around here that would be amazing to cook with. I can't catch anything to save my life and I don't want to miss out. Oh, sounds like a bit of an ordeal. <laughs> Poyman doesn't like to do anything, does she? Don't be like that. Come on, I'll whip you up a tasty snack later. Oh, you got a <gasps> deal, I think. Ooh, you had me a tasty yep. snack. I thought Poyman would be a water that. Hunters ever. <laughs> Whose side are you on? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Your friend has already given me a response. Yeah, we'll have to go with that, I, I guess. I don't care how it's done, so long as you bring me back some raw meat. Great! Then I'll leave you to it. Okay then. Monstat gastronomy trip. Let's do it. So what do we got to do? Give three. Oh, I've already got four meats. Well, you know what? Let's just let's get some more anyway. Um, mind you, these are, these kind of run away when you get up close to them. I've tried to get these before, and they're not the easiest things to hunt. This is where you need amber with a bow. I reckon I could do it with amber. Oh wow! They actually. Uh, wow, where'd it go? They, they, they do fight back, <laughs> if you're not careful. I don't even need to do this, that's the thing, because I've already got the meat. Where are they all gone? Wow, I really messed that one up, did I? Just a simple bit of hunting is all I wanted to do. Uh, no, I don't want to cook, I want to collect these ingredients. Okay. Well, okay. That that failed dismally. <laughs> Jeez. Let's go back to it, just give her the meat that we've got. I have answered these creatures before, I, I can do it. Wowie! This is great! Some of it I'll shallow fry, some of it I'll deep fry with mushrooms. Ooh, and I wonder how well it goes with some condensate. Yeah, that doesn't sound very tasty. She's off in her own world. Hi, Mom thinks she's forgotten about us. Uh, sorry. I got all excited thinking about new recipes. As promised, a tasty snack. Go on, try it, and tell me what you think. Are we your food testers now? Oh gosh, this is delicious! <laughs> Can you tell us how to make it? <laughs> sure! The only thing is 
I haven't written down the recipe yet. <laughs> I got it! I'll make another one now so you can watch. I'm sure you'll pick it up straight away. Okay. This seems pretty what hard to make. It'll take more than that to learn how to make it. And we don't have a frying pan or any condiments. Come on, it's simple. We can fry on a slab of stone and cook using some board fat. Build a stove from rocks. Use dry grass for kindling, twigs for firewood. Sweet flowers will do for sugar. As for salt, I found a load of rock salt in a cave the other day. And there's still plenty left. Seems like she's done this a million times before. <laughs> I just can't help myself when there's a chance to try something new. But I can't exactly bring my whole kitchen with me every time I leave the house, either. Give me a second while I get everything ready. Hey! What do you think? This is the boar's natural habitat. You can't hunt them here. You'll send them all running. Yeah, I might just already done that. We hunters know better than to kill the chicken to get at the egg. Well, that makes sense. Oh, I get it. The freshest, best quality meat comes from free-range boars that grow up in the environment nature intended for them. If they all ran off, it would be a major blow to gastronomy. N no, to all mankind. That's not even close to what he meant. I'm sorry. I got excited and didn't think of the impact we'd have. <sighs> you should apologize to Draff. As our leader, he always stresses the importance of respecting the rules of the hunt. I'm afraid he is very upset right now. What are we going to do? I made a mistake. And I should go and apologize. Well, let us come with you. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'll cook up some more tasty snacks for you once this is over. Okay, don't worry. Paimon will remember even if you forget. <laughs> yeah, I bet you will. Draft ought to be in Springvale. Let's go! Alright, uh, sure. Springvale. So let's check the map, because I always forget to check if there's anything closer teleport-wise. Now, we'll, we can walk. It's not that far. Uh, so Zhang Ling uh, is, from what I understand, a character we can get at some point. I think she's a free character to everybody. It's like part of the story quest. I think we'll, everyone gets her. Uh, looks like there's some things around here. We haven't done those. Yep, I'm going to get distracted by all the shiny things as I always do. Uh, where are we going? Up here? There he is. Oh, there's Xiang Ling as well. You must be Xiang Ling. Sorry, Mr. Traff. This was all my fault. I heard the whole story. And now that you're here in person... Ooh, he's gonna let her have it. <laughs> Violence is not the answer. Please, help me promote my meat. What? Huh? Sorry if I was a little brash. Let me explain. Springvale has built its reputation on top quality meat products, but this reputation is so far limited to Mondstadt. When I heard that the great maestro Xiang Ling herself was in Mondstadt, I asked Alan to send you over. I think her message got lost in translation a bit there. Maestro? Haven't you heard? She's the one behind Wan Min Restaurant, that one-of-a-kind folk restaurant in Liwei Harbor. Her unique take on cooking ingredients is behind some of the best loved dishes in all of Liyue. They are very highly rated by travelers, too. <laughs> You're too kind. I just try to cook things that are cheap and cheerful. <laughs> with a top-notch chef cooking top-notch cuisine with top-notch meat from Springvale, our reputation would spread far and wide. Mm, I don't know. I only ever think about how to make tasty dishes. I never limit myself to specific ingredients, and I don't know the first thing about promoting anything. You use boar meat all the time anyway, surely. I can't see what the issue is. The issue is... What would you think if I added a bit of slime condensate? That's... I mean, couldn't you add something a bit more normal? There's no such thing as normal ingredients to me. You can turn anything into a delicacy if you cook it in the right way. Well, you can't invite a top chef and then tell her to just do normal stuff. I will not 
stand for having my creativity shackled by what ingredients I can and can't use. <laughs> Food cooked like that is destined to be boring. Period. <laughs> Celebrity chefs are known to be somewhat strong-minded. <sighs> well, since you feel so strongly about it, forget it. But it really is a pity. You know, we did come to apologize. Couldn't you be a little more flexible? It's one thing to apologize, but it's another thing entirely to change the way I approach cooking. Mmm, what's that smell? It's gorgeous! Uh, what's cooking over here? Hello! May I have a taste of your delicious cooking? Sorry, I've taken all the orders I can for the next few days. The earliest I could put you down for is seven days from now. Is that okay? Wow. Wow, it must be delicious if it's that popular. Oh, so this woman is clearly a very popular chef. Yeah, good point. Why does Draft want Zhang Ling to help when Springville already has this lady? Hmm, maybe he feels that Mondstadt cuisine can't compete with that of Tavat's biggest business hub, Luia Harbor. But I disagree. I don't think my cooking is at all inferior to anyone else's. Well then, show me what you got. Maybe I could give you some feedback. Sorry, but customer feedback like, oh, that tasted good, is no use to me. If I wanted feedback, I would ask a professional chef. <gasps> Hang on. <laughs> Are you? Shang Ling? <laughs> Just recognized her. That's me! <gasps> it's really you! Well... I guess you do know what you're doing when it comes to cooking meat, then. As it happens, I have one of today's prime cuts remaining. So tell me, how would you cook this? That depends on the ratio of fat to meat. With this cut, I would probably roast it over a hot stone with a little salt, some joyun chili, and kingsin flour. Kingsin flour? But the melted fat would make the flavor of the flowers ten times stronger than when eaten raw. It would overpower everything. I know, that's why it's a garnish. I would never marinate the meat in it. I tried it before. If you baste the petals in oil and then cook them with the right heat and duration, it gets rid of the bitterness completely and leaves you with a lovely crispy topping. Then throw in some joyun chilies grown at a high altitude where the low humidity and varying temperatures lends them a unique dry heat. The petals absorb the saltiness from the sea salt, the chili spice, and the umami of the tender, freshly grilled steak, while also adding a floral aftertaste. I'm getting hungry. Uh, that's pure overkill. You're going all out on the trimmings and doing no justice to the meat whatsoever. Who wants to eat a roast when you can taste everything except the roast? That's a fair point. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop arguing. Yeah, sort of, I guess it's the sort of culinary clash of the titans. <laughs> well, there's only one surefire way out of a cooking dispute. Cook-off. I declare a cook-off. Yes. Suits me. If you can't beat my cooking, it'll show that draft was clearly wrong about you. All right. But if I win, you have to use my winning dish to promote Springvale. And if you lose, you have to add my winning dish to the Wanmin menu. With a caption saying, This special addition to the Wan Mean menu is generously provided by Chef Brooke of Springvale, meat expert. <laughs> it's a deal! I'm off to get ingredients. I will see you all. Wait! Wait! Let's try and catch up. Alright, uh, let's go. What are we doing? Intercept Zhang Ling on the way to. Anyway. Uh, okay, we want to go. Hang on. Just before we do, we just need to investigate this and grab ourselves a potato. What's that over there? And some mushroom. Okay. Uh, so, is there a particular spot that we just have to follow? Oh, we need to go over there. Oh, wow. That's that's. Okay, let's teleport over this way. We can speed up a little bit. Get a bit closer. So this is bringing us into a new area. I think we wanted to go here as well as part of one of the quests. Oh, that's a sweet... Okay, we'll get it later. 
the sweet flower there. Uh, that's part of the quests for uh, Catherine with the Adventurers Guild. Wanted us to take a letter to uh, somewhere around here. Oh, we're still away. Got to get all the way across there by the looks of it. Okay. Uh, all right, I will uh, get across there and I'll see you in a bit. And uh, as always, there are shiny things to distract me on the way. I'm going to have to just dive into this place here. I don't know whether I'm going to be able to get over there. No, no, that's not the way to do it. Hmm, okay. Are we going to have to sort of dive off from the top of that mountain, I guess, over there? Uh, okay, what I could do... What I could do is just mark on the map that there is something here to investigate later. Let's do a little, uh, let's do a little uh, clovery type thing, just to remind myself that one is there. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna get to where I'm going. Oh, okay. I just spoke to a sweet flower, and uh, this thing has shown up. Windblade. Uh, so, okay, this is a chance to try out Rise. Chi Chi. Oh, she's enthusiastic. <laughs> there it is. So, yeah, Chi Chi is a healer. I, I understand that. There we go. You can freeze and take him down. Oh, what a flower nectar. Where does that go? Nice. Um, yeah, so, so Chi Chi does healing uh, every time she does damage. So that could be useful. Okay, so I didn't get far at all. <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. Oh no, no, don't tell me I'm gonna drown. Come on, Jinky. Oh, that was so close. That was so close. Okay, oh, the frogs. Oh, here she is, it. Oh, oh, you can actually pick them up. Come back. Ah, oh, it's gone. Okay, let's see what Jandling has to say. Getting close. Have you decided what you're looking for yet? No, of course not. Then how are you so sure of yourself? That's just my style. If I decided in advance exactly how I was going to cook something, there'd be no element of surprise to the dish. In the same way, if I knew what I was looking for before I found it, it wouldn't be a surprise. I mean, I guess that makes sense, but... but Relax. This is how I came up with all the signature dishes at Wanmin Restaurant. Let's look around here. I'll let you know when I find something I like. Okay, so continue looking for the right ingredient. So we need to go over this way, maybe up there. But let's have a wander up this little pathway here. Oh, got it. <laughs> yeah, so we're in the vicinity. So we'll just see if there's something that we like the look of. What is this thing? Lotus seeds? Hmm, this could work. Okay, let's grab them. This should be enough. It's not every day you come to Leeway. Let's keep looking and see what else we can find. Yeah, we have not been to this area before, so we're going to uh, grab the dandelion seeds because these are useful, I think. Grab this one, and then of course I see some enemies that we can go and uh, tackle. And that seems to be the direction that we want to head into. So let's have a let's have a go at this. Okay. So we'll try and remember to kind of swap around characters and use special abilities and been told to use the, the E and Q attack sort of more often. Steady as stone. 
No, don't cook. Let's grab this guy. Uh, I know I've got like a burst attack here, but I don't think I need to use it right now. Just, just take these out. And yeah, that was pretty, pretty easy. All in a day's work. Uh, but there was something over here. This was a, a dividing scroll, which I think you sort of grab. Nice. Okay, so we're in the. Oh, what was that? What was that? It's a little hand on the map. What does that mean? Is there anything around here? Maybe it's above. Quest area reached. Um. Don't see anything around here. We'll create that. Oh, it's got to be up there, hasn't it? There's a, there's a chest. We have to go and investigate. Oh, this is just a, a puzzle by the looks of it, which obviously we have to do. Okay, so I don't have Amber, I don't have any Pyro, so let's just quickly swap the party to get um, Amber in. Let's change this one up and... Just check in Amber. At the ready! So like that, and uh, like this one. Yeah, this is one of the things I really enjoy about this game, is the fact there's so many things kind of to discover. There's another one up there. What, what is this? Yeah, it's another flame one. Like unwrapping a gift. So I did see there's another thing down there. Could be something over there. There's so much. Something over there. Uh, <laughs> where do we go first? We want to go this direction. Let's go and investigate that. Uh, let me get my other party back. Oh, well, there's Zhangling. Okay, we'll speak, we'll speak to speak to Zhangling. Wow, Joy and Chilies! Aw, that's such a cute name! Oh, Maybe awesome. so, but those little fellas pack quite a punch. From what I've observed, spicy food is a rarity in Monsat, so this will be perfect. Go and pick some. Get a good handful. Yep, step ahead of you. Done it. I still feel like we're lacking something. What do you mean? It's little boom shakalaka. Yeah, now that you mention it, it is a little boom shakalaka lacking. <laughs> shakalaka load of what now? <laughs> Brooke may be a stickler for convention, but she is a talented chef nonetheless. There's no doubt she will source the fanciest quality ingredients. To win this will take a truly mind-blowing dish. Something like sea serpent salad. Stir fried kings in flour, or wild mushrooms in a rich slime jus. Ah, uh, a slime jus? <laughs> I know how weird it sounds, but I guarantee you it tastes incredible. I'll make some for you next time. Can't wait to try it. <laughs> you won't be disappointed when you taste it, although it looks a teensy bit gross. <laughs> okay. Never mind that. I just remembered there's somewhere I never checked out last time. My gut tells me that's where we'll hit the jackpot. Let's take a look. All right, let's do it. So what is there's still that hand? Oh, we have no idea where we are. We haven't uncovered any uh, things there. I, w I need to know what this thing is. Maybe it's that over there. Let's, let's just, I want to have a look at this thing. Yeah, it's got to be here. What is this? We're right on top of it. Uh, okay, let's bring out uh, Noelle to smash these things. What have we done? Chest! 
a little dusty. Best nice. give it a spring cleaning. But that hasn't removed the the map icon. Uh, I don't know. Oh, and that's just oh, it's just these things, is it? Ah, uh, just okay. It's just tell me where the where the chilies are. Maybe we need like a lot more of them. Or is it just showing me? Is it showing me everything? I don't know. Yeah, let's do we'll deal with these guys. It's a good night show. Oh. Got him. Uh, there was one more shooting arrows at me. I'll deal with you. Oh, there's an explosive <laughs> barrel. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take the damage. I should probably sw switch characters, but I feel like there's only a few enemies. We don't have to get too too involved in the tactics here. I'll we'll take this stuff there. Best give it a spring cleaning. Okay, so what is it showing me to pick up? I'll catch up. I know I don't really need to miss it. This. What have we got? I just I just want to know what all these things are on the map. Something over here. Ah, uh, there's something over there. I haven't noticed the that be there before. Maybe it's just because I'm on this quest. Oh yeah, there's more more chilies. Maybe that's just what it's showing me. Yeah, that looks like it. Okay. I'll catch up. So where are we going? We're going way over this way. Let's uh, let's do it. I do see an, another chest. I see something else over there. So much stuff. I love it. Uh, am I going to make it? I think I can. So a bunch of things down there as well, but uh, let's just try and stick because I know the episode's going to start running along in a minute, so I want to try and stick to uh, the plan and pick up some of these things. So, if, so Gigi is a cryo, but I don't think she's got like a cryo attack for these flowers. Ah, she does. She does do cryo damage by doing nothing. Oh, it's a really long cooldown on that as well. I forgot. Yeah. Okay. Is that her down there? Let's kind of look. I think it is. Yeah. What have we got? Something ice by the looks of it. What's that? Huh? Oh, that's Olaf. Huh? <laughs> so, so cold. He's shivering. We need to warm him up quick. Make a fire. Hot soup would be even better. How about I look after him while you make him a nice warm bowl of soup? Okay, we, we can try. We passed the village camp on the way here. There will almost certainly be a campfire there to cook on. Sure, yeah, Great. we can do that. Be as quick as you can. Perhaps don't stand next to the frozen flower. That might help as well. Okay, where, where are we going? Where are we going? Oh, give the hunter the soup you prepared. Have I already got one? Mm. I, oh. Oh, that is better. Thank you. That soup really did the trick. I didn't know. I must have made one pre previous episode. I feel like that's a little bit disappointing. I kind of feel like I'm missing out on the journey of the, uh, the adventure. Um, what happened? Did you get frozen? Yes. I was chasing a boar, and after chasing him all this way, he slipped into those underground ruins over there. I followed him inside, but ran into a cryo regis vine. It froze me instantly. When I woke up, I ran straight outside, but I only made it this far before my strength failed me. How big was it exactly? Uh, cryo's fine vines attack people. They do now. I'd heard of them before from others, but this was the first time seeing one with my own eyes. Yikes! We should definitely keep our distance from the ruins. It sounds dangerous. Is Jeanlin going to want to use them in her uh, soup or her, her dish? It sounds delicious! Yep, seriously. That's it! The missing ingredients! I knew the it. icing on the cake! Calm down. Can we really eat a tree that's that aggressive? Only one way to find out. 
Let's go. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Off she goes again. We need to go. Do not worry about me. I'll be fine. But you must stop her. She is putting herself in grave danger. I think she could probably handle it. Okay. Um, Co-op unlocked. The conduit between the worlds has been activated. Ooh. Press F2 to open the co-op screen. I, to be honest with you, I'm not really that interested in doing co-op at the moment. Uh, is it going to go away if I don't do this? Okay. The following quest needs to be completed before... Okay. Uh, so, how are we doing? Um, okay, well I think what I'll do is before we get too far in... Oh, <laughs> we'll get frozen. Uh, I think I could, we could take a little break here and we will come back in the next episode and continue this quest. Uh, I am definitely having a really good time with this. Um, and we, we tried out Chi-Chi just a little bit. Uh, we have, we, but also I think we'll try out a lot more once we get inside this uh, this ruin and uh, continue on with the quest. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thank you everybody who has left advice and tips uh, if you are experienced with this game. And uh, I really am sort of happy that uh, people who are familiar with this game have found my playthrough tolerable to watch. Uh, I really do appreciate all the new subscribers and things. And uh, we're actually doing pretty well on that. We must have... I think we've just uh, hit 76 subscribers, which I started this YouTube channel just to kind of, just to play some games. I wasn't doing it with any expectation of anybody subscribing, but the fact that people are, are and people are watching and commenting just makes me feel good. You know, I really do appreciate it. So thank you so much. Um, and hopefully you'll come back for the next episode and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.